All right, now we're gonna remove the back um, brakes. Oops. So we'll go ahead and take the rest of these off and uh, see where the brakes are. All right, I'm gonna try to do this again with the camera. Uh, get the 14 in there, and then um, we're gonna wanna break it. All right, pretty easy. Now, <clears throat> I notice on this side, well, let's get the camera there. Um, it doesn't fit even, I tried a smaller one. So this one might be the old fashioned way. Whoa. Really old fashioned way. So, uh, let's see, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So. Okay, so here's the problem. I let the bottom go. So I'm gonna have to put the other one back in. So, okay, there you go. All right, now, you don't wanna force this one. Um, let's get the camera higher so you can see it. All right, so, you know, just a couple of hits. Um, we'll loosen it up, nothing crazy. The, um, you know, before I used to get some kind of torque wrench and, I mean not torque wrench, an extender, breaker. All right, so I noticed this started slipping over here too. So you, you might have to get a, it might be a 17 in there in case that starts moving as well. Um, so good old fashioned wrench, uh, 15, uh, 14. All right, that'll get us in. All right, this this um, bracket seems to really be in the way here. I mean the brake line. So I'm wondering, let me take the other one off. So okay, so it it does come out. Do you see how that's almost in the way? And I would hate to have to take this out. So anyway, um, we can just move this over. You know, just have it there. And now we have access to the caliper. And uh, let's see, that might be a fourteen. well yep it is so there's two 14s and again this is a odd angle okay that one's want to come out and unfortunately it does not appear yeah that I'm not gonna get that in there so I'll have to either use a wrench or something smaller yep that's not gonna work so how about we just use a, a wrench all right remember just a, a couple of hits Act like a impact tool. Alright, and there it comes. So they're both fourteen fourteens on this side. should release the brakes and they're smaller much smaller and uh, again these will just come out and uh, yeah they need some uh, some high temperature grease on there so um, let's 
next remember is we're going to take a step back so we can see everything and we're going to remove those two then basically comes right out let me get that tool all right all right now the emergency brakes are below it so this is going to take they haven't released so i'm kind of wondering now this is a rubber uh, seal that you can look inside uh maybe you know we're gonna give it a couple hammers here and see if it'll come out all right at this point you would slide this off but i noticed this one wasn't sliding so here's what i did i just rotate it around while hitting it you know little by little little by little little by little until until it comes out all right we'll put the new one in all right those are your emergency brakes what we want to do is we want to get some brake cleaner put on a mask and some goggles and spray it and you see how all the brake dust starts coming apart and just give it a good you know a good clean just to make sure everything's in a working order all right okay those are looking good we're gonna go ahead and put the new rotors in all right so make sure those align and then we have to take this little plastic thing out it's like a peekaboo and all you got to do is push that push that through and it should come out <laughs> and so I'm gonna have to put it down get a little elbow grease on there okay and it's a little rubber stopper so we'll get that rubber stopper back in its place all right and then i'm gonna switch gloves because uh there's a lot of grease on the back of that which is normally a good thing yeah, that means there's grease on, you know, brake grease. But anyway, I want to get this, keep this nice and clean. That should just be able to push in and then get these guys in. And again, do not use any kind of torque um, impact tool. You know, just nice, uh, just nice and tight. All right, I'm gonna switch gloves before I get more of this dirty. Alright, got some new gloves on and there you go. Just nice and pressed that in. And then let's get these down. Just enough to straighten out. Again, you got the wheel on there with lug nuts, so you know that these are not doing much. They're just holding it in for now to get it nice and straight. Alright, there you go. All right, um, here we go. Let's finish this up now. Um, I cleaned it up a little bit as much as I could. You know, got the grease off um, here. We're gonna put some re-grease them. Um, first things first. This is very important. This is what makes a good brake job good and a bad one bad. Uh, the guide pins. We're gonna take these off. Okay, so you see they have very little to no grease on them. So we clean them off. All right. Okay. Clean them off pretty good. Then you're going to take some high temperature grease. All right. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to dip it in. And whatever comes out, that's what you're going to use. 
in the guide pin. So we just stick it back in there and uh, you know, let it work. All right, we're gonna do the same thing to the other side. I'm gonna take the guide pin, we're gonna clean it. It's pretty dry. And then we're gonna put uh, it all back together again, okay? So we're gonna put the first 14 millimeters and get them back in there. All right, now we're gonna take some brake cal uh, caliper, cal <laughs> caliper grease, right? And remember, wherever everything touches metal, metal touches metal, that's where we want a little bit of grease. So I know that they're gonna go in here, so not a lot, just, you know, just get it in there. And, you know, make sure it's not a lot because then it gets on the rotors. You want to clean it off the rotors. So, you know, just a little bit there. And then we'll come back around. Put a little bit here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that'll keep them nice and quiet. All right. Maybe a little bit too much. I have to dab some off. All right. And the reason we did that is because we're going to get these um off and put them on there all right i'll get this one and put it on there okay now the brakes will go the pads right though they will go in these little grooves so we're just gonna dab a little bit here and here and here and here all right now being careful gotta get these on right careful not to get the rotors greasy we'll uh get these on here gotta find the groove okay there's one and then we know that the other one is right here and usually I'll get back there but I know the camera's in the way but I can feel it all right we get 14s in there all right hand tighten it we're gonna torque them down in just a little bit Okay, now the brake pads. This one has the squealer uh, where once the brake pad wastes, this will start rubbing on that and let you know it's time to change the brakes. So this might take a while. Oh, see, and I'm already gonna have to clean the, um, the rotor. Make sure it, you do not want to grease on that, so. Okay, and it's, I'm feeling my way instead of seeing, which I should do. And yeah, obviously <laughs> that's not the right place. Okay, it should be in that range. All right. Yeah, all right, I'm going to have to get in there and get a good look. Um, let me put the front ones in so you can see. And I'm being very careful not to touch the actual pad. So you see what I'm trying to do back there is go here and then in here. And it's a tight, snug fit. All right, see, I want to do that to the back side, so I'll be back. Okay, I had to get my big head in there to um, get a good look, and then they fell right in. Now, this guy. All right. Okay, so next we want to compress this cylinder, all right, because the brakes are now bigger, the rotor's bigger, so this needs to be compressed. You go to the front of the car and take off the cap to the reservoir, okay? I don't know if you have to do that, but that's just how I've learned. And then, um, you want to put your old brake pad in here and then push it down. Uh, I don't have the old brake pad. I turned it in. But these are pretty um, easy. So 
Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and use a C-clamp. Some people use these big pliers, okay? And basically what you wanna do is just easily, um, you know, get the cylinder go down. Oops, I slipped a little bit there. Go down a little bit more. Nice and easy. Nothing hard, wait a little bit. All right, and it sh that should be it. All right. Now on the front, I have this hanging because it's so heavy. On the back, it's so light, so not really hanging. And then, let's get the camera back to where it was. All right, now, it goes over there. You press these guys in. All right, and then, start getting these bad boys in into the guide pins all right now remember I'm gonna rotate and then clean the rotor a little bit all right now let's talk about torque this is pretty easy and the way I always use a good torque wrench uh, this is an okay torque wrench and Right now, I set it to foot-pounds and 20 foot-pounds because guess what? These do not take a lot. And so you'll see what I mean. That's it. 20 foot-pounds. Okay? These are not a lot. This one, I might have trouble getting in there. I might have to do that by hand. Um, now, it's easy to remember the other ones. The ones that hold the bracket because those are 40 20 and 40 so let me reset this to 40 foot-pounds all right let me find it Forties a little more. It's getting nice and tight. Let me see if I can go around the camera. There it is, 40 pounds, 40 foot pounds. All right, so 20, 40, and we're done. That was changing the back pads and rotors. Next thing you do is bleed the brakes. Uh, I have other videos on how to bleed the brakes. You can watch those, you can watch other ones. So if you learned something or you know it helped out, please like and subscribe.